Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Any app user or application would like to save some kind of a data in the back end which it will use it for its internal functioning. It could be such as language preferences or you want to make sure that the font size is being maintained consistently and it could be as simple as you want to maintain audio volume when the user is using that particular app. The app itself would like to cache the username. Also there is a scenario where some of the app settings need to be maintained or it could be as simple as checking whether application is launching for the first time and based on that do some kind of a logic and if you think all of this the kind of data that we are maintaining is all non-sensitive data now the question is how can i save this particular non-sensitive data in such a way that i can do read and write operations of this kind of data in a very easy way the very first thing that will come to your mind is of course you can do it using file io but if you think about it for this kind of trivial operations creating a file reader buffer reader buffer writer so i can say that it is too much ado about nothing another answer would be why not do it using the sqlite database but once again if you have a look at the kind of data we are speaking there is no need to maintain any kind of relationship or relational database requirement is not there here so using a sqlite database for this kind of requirement is a bit of over engineered solution and that is where android provides simpler mechanism that is called as shared preference with shared preferences the data is still being saved in a file but it is abstracted to the developer and shared preferences save all this in a xml formatted file the values are stored in a key value format and you don't have to worry about how do i parse this it is once again abstracted to the developer that is the one of the biggest advantage of working with shared preferences now what kind of data can be saved using shared preferences there are basically six kinds of data types boolean float int long string and set of strings the context and activity class provides you methods like get shared preferences and get preferences which basically gives you a shared preference object and shared preference class has got another nested class called as editor it is using this editor class you can write all these data types to the shared preference so we have gone through enough of theory it is best to now experience this using a demo i will be reusing the previous application that i had demonstrated you while doing the file io operations to the external storage file only the difference is now when i click on the write to file instead of saving it to an external storage file or an internal file i will be saving it to a shared preference and in the same way i will be reading it from the shared preference let me start by creating an instance of a shared preference private shared preference shared preference would be the value and after this i will initialize the shared preference shared preference equals to get shared preferences the get shared preferences will take two arguments first one is the file name and the second one is the mode in which that file need to get created in this case the file name need to have the package name and then dot the activity so it would be like the package name dot main activity dot xml and the mode is private mode after this we need to write the content to the file so let me comment out the earlier code now what i will do is i will check whether the red string from the edit text view is not equal to null and if it is not equal to null then i will proceed to write it to the shared preferences to write to the shared preference first of all you need to get hold of the editor so shared preference dot edit will return me an editor object and then using the editor dot put you can see that there are various methods which will allow you to put any value into the shared preference right now i will be using put string so put string the first argument would be the key and the second argument would be the value so let me choose any key here in this case it is sample underscore key and the value is string that i have read from the edit text box and then do not forget to commit it to the shared preference without that it will not be committed to the shared preference file after this i need to read the text from the shared preference so i will comment out the earlier code that i had written in the populate the red text method and now what i will do is i will reuse the sum of the code and then instead of read text from the external file i will write shared preference dot get string and pass key using which i had saved it to the shared preference so it would be sample key and the second argument is the default value if the value for that particular key is not found when it is trying to read from the shared preference i need to replicate the same functionality when i execute the method populate text from the previous session so i will comment out the code and repeat the same thing 
So it's time to run this. Initially, you will observe that string not found because it is not present. So let me write and then read from the shared preference now you can observe that we are able to read it i will close the application and relaunch you should be able to read that particular string from the shared preference now the question is where is this getting stored so you can once again open the android device monitor go through the structure data slash data and under the data there will be the application package name there you can observe that under that there will be a shared prefs folder and there will be the shared preference file you can just pull it, store it to the desktop and you can have a look at the content of the file. If you open it, you will observe that the content is same and you also observe the XML format in which it is being maintained. And that is how you can use the shared preference to save some of the user preferences or app preferences to the file without bothering too much about how to read and write and what kind of data format needs to be maintained. You can even reduce this effort by using something called as shared preference activity. I will talk about that in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.